<laughs> or maybe it's even easier than like uh, teaching a car how to drive itself or something. Oh, we're going there. Look at that. Yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you guys see actually the Tesla launched the uh, beta preview of the full self-driving capabilities last night? Was it last oh, night? Oh, I was refreshing Twitter like crazy as people were starting to get their hands on full self-driving. I, I'm i waiting. Betas. Come on. Yeah. Well, Give me that. you know, we, Joe and I uh, called Tesla and let him know about your driving history. So just don't, don't hold your breath. Uh, Which I um, why don't you pull that up for us? Actually, they were we like, well, that'd be a really good test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of thought that was funny when Elon tweeted that about, oh, expert and careful drivers. I'm like, but why? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> 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 if it's full self, do you, do you, do you not need, wouldn't you not need that? I don't know. Um, and so I think we, did we speculate about this uh, before? I think I would, I was saying I was going to be shocked if it could make left turns. And yes. apparently it can. Uh, oh yeah, it's doing some... left turns, it's doing right turns, it's doing all the turns, my friends. <laughs> yeah, so there's lots of stuff Do happening. Everything. Uh, Brandon, some going through yeah. roundabouts, navigating in neighborhoods where there are uh, cars oh, and no one. lane markings. The I think this guy, he had, had to take control over it yeah. right there. He wasn't <laughs> too stoked about it, but on that, but everything else, people are freaking out. Yeah. Well, it's really curious. I, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, uh, to the, after today because you know it's daylight now and you can actually film and see what's happening. Yeah. Uh, because all of this was shot like on a cell phone at night, but all the stuff out there pretty much. So this um, launched literally last night. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, sorry, now, Wednesday night for those of you listening. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because what we're seeing here on the screen and what you'll see on Twitter, you've probably seen a lot of it already, is the uh, the visualization being very different. And uh, mm. uh, Green on uh, on Twitter, uh, the guy that kind of does this hacking stuff or whatever breaks down into this stuff, he said that this was released in 2018, these visualizations. Wow. Um, so, so that's actually like what you're seeing in the visualizations, what the car has been seeing for years now. Um, and they're just um. now finally choosing to show it to us. Uh, but... So, so I guess I'm like less impressed with that. I'm more impressed with what it's actually doing. Right. Which yeah, is the visualizations are very crude, but that's yeah. not what matters. That's not what you care about. Right. Right. And the computer power. probably sees far more than what you're seeing on on the screen there. Yeah. Oh you know, yeah. They're just trying to make it more interesting for you to look at. I guess. So. So we just saw a left hand turn. Yeah. So a, it's literally stop. stopping and turning. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm still yes. really curious what the next step is. Um I mean like first off, what do you guys think just reactions of what it can do or what we've seen? It's so it's so rough what we just saw. A, a cell phone camera at night. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm sure over the with next a, week we're going to be seeing a lot of really cool stuff with an but, Atari um, looking like little interface, you know. Well, it, yeah, and I mean, I don't know, it's 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 one thing to see it on the on the screen and it's another thing to actually see the car like i don't know if they if they had the camera back here and you could see the screen and the car making the turns and stuff i feel like that would be more interesting to look at but it was kind of tongue in cheek stopped and took a left turn was impressive actually it was kind of tongue in cheek but i was like yeah it'd be really cool if tesla you know gave this to someone that knows how to operate a camera you know (laughs) we could actually see what's happening (laughs) but it was also nighttime so i give him that but yeah Yeah. hopefully we'll see some really good because yeah that's kind of where i'm at i'm like Awesome, yes, but I want to see like a legit. I kind of want to see them do it. You know what I mean? Like they have, they actually hire film crews to like do these. Like I want to see. Mm-hmm. I, don't know. I want. I just want. There's a guy on on YouTube that's always done. I forget who it is. Uh, that's just done a simple mm. like over the shoulder shot. Yeah, you know, and love and, it. A, and the binnacle shot, and literally just gone on this route. You know, twenty miles or whatever, and just filmed it for like years now. I would love to see. Uh, you know, a shot just like that. And hopefully that is coming soon. Yeah, I know what you're talking um, about. You know, where yeah, you just watch is... what it does, what it can and can't do. Um, I, I'm i pr- genuinely, like, from what I've seen, I've watched a handful of these last night. I was just sitting there refreshing, waiting for new ones to come in. Um, it really seems more impressive than I thought. I thought it was going to be a lot less actually capable of self-driving. And I thought it was going to be, like, physically slow. Elon made it seem like it's slow and cautious. But it's keeping up with track. Like, it's not like it's going physically slow. It might make decisions slower than, you know, and, and do things at a more conservative pace than I think we might drive ourselves for now. 
but it looks to me, I mean, like from the videos I've watched people, it just looks like someone's driving, you know, it looks like a pretty normal driver and it's doing pretty complex things, changing lanes and the big, I saw a big stoplight where there's, you know, two left turn lanes and two or three like straight lanes or whatever. And it did all that fine. I was just like, what it is. It's feature complete, it seems like, but it definitely, you know, people need to be extremely vigilant because I think mm -hmm. that's the thing is right now it might be 95% um, capable, but that 5% where it's not capable is like, if you're not paying attention, it, it will just drive straight into a mailbox, you know, <laughs> or it could drive straight into this pedestrian, you know, or whatever. So you do, you're going to have to be extremely vigil vigilant. And then, but the good thing is now that so many people will be operating it, Think about how much more data they're going to be getting. Well, on. that's the question is when is it going to be rolled out to more people, right? Is this just a little beta preview for a dozen people or and then they're going to take it back? Or is this a now it's there, like these people are going to have it forever more until they have like a, you know, a more polished version or something? I mean, are they collecting data from this? Isn't this part of the, the oh, data for collection sure. process? Yeah, yeah. It seems like they would leave it out there then. Assuming there's right. problems. I mean, if there's problems. Obviously. Right. Assuming there's not some massive, horrendous <laughs> flaw that is targeting people with like a, if it sees a bicycle, intentionally runs it over. Like assuming there's not any like nasty flaw like that, you know, I think, uh, I would assume it's, it's going to stay out there. It sees like a Hummer and it's just like, oh, you know, straight at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking but, of. Oh, oh, do we want to go there already? Oh. Was that one well, of the things we we're going to talk about? It is one of the things we we're going to talk about. I thought you were queuing yourself up there. <laughs> well, I, I really quick just wanted to say a few more things. That, like, I, I think, you know, I said I'd be surprised if it is able to back out of a driveway. Like, I still haven't quite seen. I want to see someone just getting in the car, typing mm. in their destination, and see exactly what happens from point to point. Someone did say they went supercharger to supercharger. Like without into driving. the parking lot and in the parking spot? Supposedly. They just said on Twitter, I, I think it was um the Silicon Silicon Valley um, Tesla group Tesla or whatever, Club. you know? Yeah. Um, said, uh, yeah, like I think they tweeted, I just went from supercharger to supercharger without driving. Nice. That is, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means pulling into <laughs> It's just stalls. like for, from one spot to the other yeah, spot. <laughs> <laughs> just like backed out and pulled into the one they next They just time. do summon from one spot to another spot. <laughs> No, if if that's the case, that's I mean that would exceed my expectations by a lot. G guaranteed, if they gave this to Joe, it would just drive straight over a curb and hit the supercharger. <laughs> I was just about to say, even if <laughs> if mine tried to do just the one st one stop over, it would probably find a curb. It would it would drive halfway across the parking lot to find a curb and hit it, and then come back. <laughs> yeah, and then run over the stall itself. Oh, yeah. by the way, there's this one stall in Nebraska uh, when I was coming home a couple weeks ago or whatever. And there was the sign that says like, you know, Tesla supercharging only every, and it was in between all the supercharger, like station things. Every single pole was at about a 15 degree angle backwards <laughs> because apparently they had it like too far forward and everyone just backed straight into it. And it's just over time, pushed it back. It's just so, I should have taken a picture. Oh, it's funny. funny. But yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's all I wanted to say about full self-driving and I hope I get it ASAP. Elon. Get it to me. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.